Bizarre story on the peninsula tonight. A pair of ex-Caltrain employees are accused of building their own secret homes inside two different stations use pay, using taxpayer dollars. Jose Martinez is at the station in Burlingame where someone finally blew the whistle. Larry and his grandson Chase have been coming to the Burlingame Caltrain station every Thursday for over six years to watch the trains go by. During that time, they've also watched some action at the building itself, a historical renovation. At least that's what Larry thought. I know they renovated the station, or parts of it, uh, for historical purposes. I thought they had closed it down. and they, I know the, the city, I think, with Caltrain did the exterior. But I've never been in the inside, at least not since the work has been done. It looks, we've looked in the windows, it looks like a, you know, like a little museum type thing in this area right here. But I've never gone around the corner, looked in any of those windows. Couldn't, they've, they've always had shades or, you know, paper or something over them, so. San Mateo County prosecutors say those shades were hiding an illegal personal residence built by two ex-Caltrain workers with taxpayers' funds. No, I don't think it's an appropriate use of, of Caltrain money or, and, or, or any kind of public transportation money, no. Former Caltrain executive Joseph Vincent Navarro and station manager Seth Andrew Warren are accused of felony misappropriation of public funds. Prosecutors say they conspired between 2019 and 2020 to convert parts of the Burlingame and Millbrae stations into personal living quarters. Always submitting invoices below $3,000 to stay within Warden's spending discretion. What they did is they built it out so that it had a kitchenette, it had uh, new piping in it for a bathroom, it had a, a sleeping area. Basically, it was a, sort of a mini apartment they turned it into. And the problem with doing that, number one, it's not their property. And number two, they spent public funds. The DA says the pair spent $42,000 renovating the Burlingame station, where Navarro admitted to occasionally living until someone blew the whistle in 2022. How did it come to light? Uh, off in the case, anonymous caller who we, to this day, do not know who called in to say, hey, there's somebody living in the Burlingame uh, train station uh, in there. And so the managers checked it out, and indeed that was the case. Prosecutors say the two spent another $8,000 renovating a portion of the Millbury station into a living space for Warden, who was caught in 2020. Caltrain sent us a statement saying, in part, Caltrain investigates every claim of such misconduct and in cases where there is evidence of unlawful conduct by an employee or a contractor, we immediately act to rectify the situation and hold the individuals who are responsible accountable. A director should be able to uh, have enough of a salary or whatever to be able to, you know, live on his own without having to, you know, squat on Caltrain property. I don't think that's right.